Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. So I was hit several times about fear and imagination. They do go together. More often than not, we allow our imagination to create fear, though. What are you talking about? Well, just like the airplane ride. How many people ain't got on an airplane because of their imagination? The thought in their brain of what that plane rain is like. They don't know, but they let their imagination take over. So you allow yourself to be pushed around by the fears in your mind. That's a plane ride. You say, oh, that's 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 normal. Okay, well, a roller coaster, let's say something fun. Roller coaster. How many people ain't jumped on a roller coaster? Because they scared of the thought of what it's going to be like this. You can't do that. Fear is nothing more than an obstacle that stands in the way of your progress. I'll say it again. Fear is nothing more than an obstacle that stands in the way of your progress. Don't allow your imagination to run wild with you. Okay, okay. So I can give you different ways of looking at this. You want me to? I will. I just heard y'all say, yeah, so I'm finna give it to you. You're not scared of the dark. Mm -mm. You're not scared of the dark. You scared of what's in it. Come on now. Think on it. Think about it. You're not, you're not even afraid of heights. More than not, you afraid of falling from being that high up. See, it ain't the height that's getting you. It's the fear of falling. Who the hell want to fall from way up in the air? I know I don't. So you ain't afraid to escape. See, 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 see how the mind, see how you, it's all in how you process things and look at it. Give you another one. You're not really even afraid of people and showing how you truly feel either. Like, yes, I am. I, yes, I am. No, you're not. No, you're not. What you're afraid of is the rejection that you may receive. Think on it. You're not afraid of love either. Man, you ain't in all that, all that mushy stuff. I know. Yes, you are. You, you, yes, you, you're not afraid of that. You're afraid of not being loved back and being reciprocated the way that you know you feel it. Because we tough. A lot of guys out here, we tough. We don't want to, we like to even think about the word love, but that's how society screwed us up up here. You're not even afraid to let go. You're not afraid to let go. I'm going to give it to you. And a lot of people are like, man, that's deep. What it is is you're just afraid to accept the reality that that person's gone. Yeah. See, look at it. I'm afraid like up. No, you're afraid of the reality that that person, male or female, is truly gone. Then they say, what are you afraid to try again? Well, I believe that's a simple thing as this. You're just afraid to being hurt for the same reaction again. So, what are you saying, OG? What are you saying, young God? You got to drop the mathematics on this one because you always do. What is the point of all this? I'm going to give it to you. We suffer more often in our imagination than in reality. There you go. We suffer more often in our imagination than in reality. That's some wooism without even a Wu Tang gear on. Blessings to y'all. You can catch me at Fitted Snapback Thought 70 on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Or as always, you can type in DavidMarriJr.com. I mean, it two ways this time. We suffer more often in our imagination than in reality. And fear is nothing more than an obstacle that stands in your way of progress. That's wooism, baby. Blessings.